right, so this this super resonates with me, okay? If you don't know me, I make tech content on the internet. And um, what I like to do, especially on like social media, like Instagram or TikTok, what I'll do is people will comment on my videos and I'll reply to their comments with videos. I'll do video replies, which is super fun. They can ask me questions and I'll reply to them. I didn't realize I did this, but someone commented on my video. They were like, Dave, you know what I appreciate about your responses? You almost always start them with, that's a great question, or that's an interesting question, or hmm, I hadn't thought about that. They pointed this out to me, and I was like, do I do that? Like, I, I'm not even aware of it. So I scrolled back and looked through some of my own videos, and sure enough, I do. I don't do it on every video, um, especially if I have like a meme or jokey response. I know my channel is You Suck at Programming, so I have that like persona of like talking down to you condescendingly, but it's, it's never a serious thing. It's always just laced with sarcasm. Uh, but yeah, I was rewatching them, and a lot of the times I'm like, oh, that's a good question, or that's interesting. Let's talk about it. And I like to do that before I break it down. Um, and I honestly, like, like I said, I wasn't aware I was doing it, but I do think it's important. Like, uh, you know, I've been in the field for like 15 years. So people ask me questions on here. Like I am their senior developer friend. I am the senior that will give them the advice that they ask. Uh, you know, they can ask me anything. So it's pretty cool. Um, and I think it's more to do it because like I said, when I, when I was getting started in this field, when I was more junior and I was asking a lot of questions, I still ask questions. But when I was more junior in the field, like I remember the people who were rude or condescending about the way they answer questions. Sure, they were smart and that was cool, but... I only respected them because of them being smart. I didn't respect them as like a person, which is like harsh, but that's the truth. And then I remember meeting some engineers that were like way above my pay grade. Like they were some of the smartest people I've ever met in my life. They were the nicest people I'd ever met in my life. And that was huge to me. I was like this, like, I was like, I remember the person who was condescending me. They were like here on the level of knowledge. And these people that I would talk to were up here, but they were so smart and they were so approachable and they would take the time to break down problems with you. And I just like on an instinctive level, I was like, this is, this is how it should be. Like, this is how you should be. You should take the time, work with people. And like, if you want to be any sort of like teacher or something in this space, which like I want to do, not formally, just through these videos, uh, I think that's important. I think more people should be like that. So if you're dealing with someone who's like senior and they're kind of condescending to you, um, that sucks. They shouldn't be like that. And try to find someone who's not like that because uh, that sucks, man. Life's too short to be condescending like that. So yeah, I don't know. I just saw this video and I was like, wow. Like I, I had just read that comment on my channel a couple days ago. So it was like fresh in my mind. I was like, wow. Yeah. Like I knew it was important from my perspective, but seeing this video, I realized it's, it's important from the other person's perspective. Like I'm the one answering questions. They're the one receiving it. Like it's important for both of us to be like this. So yeah, I think this is super cool.